What's going on, people? It's Tim and Joe. Shh. Oh, yeah. What's going on, people? It's Tim and Joe making videos, making fun of your computers all up on the internet. It's 2020. Barbara Walters, we're here, and we're going to uh, do a whole new series that I've been teasing a little bit in the last video and whatnot. Uh, it's this is where I'm going to roast your rigs, and I know it's been done before. But I've never done it before, really, so I think this will be, uh, you know, a more voluntary noob plebs kind of style of video where you get to see your weird computer all up on the internet. And uh, I want to thank everyone who has submitted some. There was like 40 emails in that inbox, and I only put this uh, up a couple of days ago, so thank you very, very much. And uh, you know what? If you want yours featured, here's the rules, because I wasn't exactly, uh, you know, forthright with what I want from this. Uh, pictures. I want lots of them. Like, at least five if you if it you know one or two pictures is always going to tell the whole story so try and like take deep you know go grab your cell phone take a few pictures everyone has a camera in their pocket turn the lights on if you can you know try and make some nice pictures and uh, i want this to be like yours or your friend's rig and they're not going to get butt hurt about me you know featuring it on this thing or whatever and uh you know put right a little story you know five to ten pictures maybe even a video if you want to i'll watch the video if you can send it to me to that email and uh, speaking of the email TJ roast my rigs at gmail.com send me an email with five pictures of your weird rig uh, you know I'm talking too many fun cold pots I'm talking too much RGB terrible cable management weird old case just the weird stuff and you know some people are getting it in the email here but a lot of people didn't send enough pictures or the description of what you know their PC was or why they were sending it to me wasn't great I want like a paragraph on what you know what's up with you and we'll have it featured on the show it'll be fun so Without, you know, blabbing on, this setup is not going to be permanent. It doesn't look that great. I've got a light here, and it just fell down on me, as you saw. And uh, we're going to try and we're gonna bang this out. It's going to be fun. So let's uh, get rolling. So uh, Rival Z here is uh, someone who sent me a uh, the, the first one. And he was a terrible example of what how you should do this. Don't send me two emails with, uh, you know, one little line of what the system specs are. And then another one, and then me having to email you and say, this could be interesting. You know, I don't want to have to, you know, have a big back and forth. I don't have time for it, even though I love all y'all. <laughs> so it's GTX 1060 i5 7400s, 26 gigabytes of RAM in single channel, which makes no sense whatsoever unless... No, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But let's check out the pictures. So he's obviously wanting to do some streaming, you know, because that's what all the rage is these days. He's got a little baby there, a little picture. That's cute. It's kind of blurry. Turn the lights on, dude. And then, oh, got a little uh, microphone arm. And then the PC is clearly uh, on a test bench of sorts. And then, uh, you know what this is? This isn't a test bench. This is Lego. This is Lego. So he says, hello, this is my first PC story. I didn't have enough for a case, so I used Lego. I like it, buddy. I like it. But uh, I had to coerce him to send me some better pictures. So here are some better pictures just getting into streaming. That's why I have the mic. So he's looking to stream with this i5 quad core that's not overclockable and a 1060. I'm sure, sure it's a little bit possible. RCA television, I noticed, for your monitor. That's got to be good <laughs> for input latency. We see his uh, little hard drive cages there. That's pretty cute. He's got going on. That's interesting. He's got a nice uh, Logitech, uh, you know, gaming keyboard setup. Uh, but there, oh yeah, definitely some Lego. And I like the, um, I'm going to say Sanwa switch uh, power button. That looks like from an arcade or something. That's pretty cool. There's some, you know, lights glowing from underneath there. That's that's cool. And I got some Lego Technics as the feet. That's pretty good. You know, that's intuitive. But my God, your cable management. Where is it? You, it's Lego. Build some cable management, man. You can do it. And uh, it always grinds my gears when people put the uh, Intel heatsink on so that it doesn't say Intel like, you know, the, the right orientation. You got to turn your t turkey neck. But uh, there's a 1060. There's a little gaming setup. Nothing too crazy. Um, my son could build a better one. <laughs> and that's all I got to say. And it appears as though you don't have an SSD. So go on Amazon and get yourself a damn SSD. Did I see an SSD? I don't see an SSD. You just got a bunch of laptop drives and old drives kicked in there. Get one. It'll, be, it'll make it so much better. And then build yourself a better case. I'm going to build a Lego case someday. That's for sure. It's 
not going to be a test bench. It's going to be better than that. But I like your gusto. Rivalzy. Rivalzy. I like it. So good first one. Thank you very much. Um, Kevin Dady. I have an old beater PC I used out of the garage recently. Got a trunk full of old Macs and along with those a 200 or uh, sorry, a year 2001 era Leanne Lee case. That's pretty cool. I scraped off the yellowing and dull clear coat, gave it the spit shine and put some Krylon on that shit. <laughs> the case is too beat up to bother with selling on eBay, so I decided to put it in my garage as a beater. The computer is a 3.5 gigahertz Phenom 2 dual core on an old AM2 uh, platform, 8 gigs of DDR2 RAM, a GeForce GT220. <laughs> Someone had used a rat to nibble a hole in the front for an 80 millimeter intake duct, so I found an obnoxious fan I have stuck it in the front there. So let's check this out. I do recognize the Lian Lee case. Uh, Lee and Lee, you know, one of the oldest case manufacturers, like going back into the uh, 90s, they were making, you know, a d different sort of computer case than the beige that everyone saw, even if it is kind of, uh, you know, old school the way this is set up. But uh, I like this computer and you see that little fan there. That's that's pretty cool. And uh, you clearly have an amazing workshop. You've got a soldering station. You know, you've got this like robot picture here. This is cool stuff. I can't roast. Well, that's a cool antique fan. <laughs> Get roast this if you need a little PC in your garage and uh, you know you got this all together and you sprayed it with some silver looking Krylon. I'm not gonna hate on that. That's pretty cool, man. Good, good on you, roasty toasty time. Kevin Dady, I like it. It's good stuff. No roast there for your, for your, look at it. It's running Windows. It's got Windows on it. It's all good. Hard drive through town. <laughs> This thing got me through the beginning of my PC building journey. I bought it off a friend having no idea what the specs were. It turned out to be a Core 2 Quad Q6600, an 8800 GTS, 4 gigs of DDR2 800 megahertz, an Asus P5B Deluxe, nice, nice motherboard, yeah? A dying 120 gig uh, 5200 RPM laptop drive that was slow as anything. And uh, I know this Antec case, I have it, uh, one of them in my attic actually. Uh, but I wanna know, is that the life support? For this PC, like you just constantly have like, it's like beep, beep, and you're just waiting for the day that it's like <laughs> Oh, there, there it went. A problem has been detected. <laughs> I love old school blue screens of death. <sighs> Bad times. Uh, so, you know, you got a Wi-Fi card in there. Um, you know, this is pretty cool. Uh, oh, wow. That's one way to put a hard drive in there. Uh, dude, you know, at least it was a learning experience for you. That's a pretty cool PC. And uh, I don't know about the airflow in that case, but I definitely have that case though. It's a cool, like, uh, older retro PC. I can say I've come a long way since that PC. I now have swapped CPU, RAM, and GPU for better ones that actually work and, and use it as my XP battle station. I hope that this creation is worthy of your judgment. Oh, yeah, and I like the blue screens. They were fun, yeah. So he's clearly, oh, he's got his old school CRT going there too. So he's clearly got, like, this Samsung monitor hooked up just as a, a life support, you know, system. And one day it's just going to go <laughs> Maximilian Heinrich. Hey, Timmy Joe. This is my rig without side panels. Also a little homemade water block for my GTX 1080 because there was no commercially available block for the plate. Dual, probably pallet. Dual OC. Sorry for the poor quality. It's an R5 3600 B450, 16 gigs of RAM, 250 gig uh, uh, NVMe drive, two terabyte uh, whatever with store MI. Thanks. <laughs> Best regards from Germany. Max. Maximilian. So that's a decent looking Pete. I like how he's got it in written there. <laughs> so this is a pretty sweet PC. This is a good example of someone who doesn't care about the looks of the PC. They want form over function or function over form. So we see here, he's got this weird loop going on and it's going to the CPU. It's got like a separation block there. But what uh, I, I, I tried not to like look at these too much ahead of time. I wanted kind of my reaction as I loaded them up, but uh, I did skim through a few of these and I really like how he's got the VRM separately cooled on this. Like he, he's got some ingenuity here on this card. This is a 1080 that he's put a water block on and it looks to be like probably like a, an Amazon special or something like that with some pretty good fittings and stuff, but he's got it so that not only is the GPU cooled and there's this like cool copper plate that he's made 
please be careful and don't let that copper plate come into contact with anything. But uh, it looks like it's touching the SLI fingers there. But he's got the VRM uh, with the water block as well. Did you find that VRM block somewhere? That's super cool, man. I got to give you props. This is really cool. So I can't make fun of this. This is, uh, you know, just someone getting it done. And you can't uh, really make fun of someone for that. I do like the worm gears you used in certain spots. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, is it, it must be some sort of distro block that's got like a flu, uh, a flow, set, you know, thing in there, flow indicator. So this is a pretty cool build. Uh, hard for me to make fun of. And you even got two rods in it, so you, you figured it out. That's pretty awesome. So that's a great one. Nice to see someone working hard, Maximilian. And uh, I don't know. Just be careful with that GPU, man. That's that's scary looking. <laughs> Oh, man. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. Here's the Angry Grid Crab. So I, I'm going to go through real quick. He's got a Ryzen 9 3900X system and a Ryzen 7 2700 system and a Ryzen 5 2600 system. And they're all in the same case. What cases? We'll try and figure that out as we go here. I don't know if this is... This is crazy. I've never seen three PCs in one case. I've seen two of them several times, but it looks like there's even some custom loop stuff going on here. So this is freaking cool. It's got uh, 2070 Super at least for a GPU. I didn't read what the 3900's got uh, MSI. Oh, 2080 Ti Trio, there you go. He's got uh, also uh, an Asus Poseidon in there in the second system. And then in the third system, I believe is housed down here. There's clearly a nitro, probably um, like a, a Vega 56 or something like that. What did you say? Ryzen Wraith Cooler, Sapphire Nitro R9 Fury. That's pretty cool stuff. So look at this. This is three computers. Three computers in one computer. That's too many computers, man. And then uh, he built a desk out of wood to go beside his other desk. And then there's like clearly a lot of PCs lying around. You're, you're a hard worker with the PCs. I gotta give you, uh, okay, and that's clearly a thermal take case. We gotta look that up later. I'd like to build three systems in one. So yeah, this is the second system on the bottom. Or no, that's the main system. The main system, the 3900X system is custom looped. What would be really cool, dude, is if you got all of the GPUs and CPUs in this on the same loop. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. So I, I don't know, with the side from like, look at that cable management and you've got like a fill port hanging out of the, the side of it. You clearly haven't buttoned this thing up in a while. Also, I mean, your work area is kind of dirty, but I mean, mine gets like that too. Uh, so, you know, I can't complain too, too much, but uh, you have a pretty damn cool liquid three. You have some cool stuff going on here, dude. You really got her hooked up. So I can't rag on this. This is just ingenuity at its best. And uh, I like that he has specific functions for all of the uh, PCs. So he's got uh, used for gaming and daily stuff is that better system with the 3900. The 2700 is used for guests, which happens pretty often actually. <laughs> and uh, the third system here is a used as Plex and file server and runs 24 seven. That's really cool, man. You've got this all on, on fleek. So I can't make you cry, man, except for that you're a crab and you've you've got crabs ass face you've got a really cool system here dude i have to check this this out what's the thermal take triple system all right i've been doing some research and um like there's the core w200 duals like oh what's this one this is it okay so this what he's th that's the case right yeah is that an itx it's an an matx system it's like he just jimmy rigged everything in this case, in the Core X9 case. So, I mean, good on you, man. You really figured that out. I'm sure it's not like OEM. We clearly have this board just kind of hanging on the rails there, but uh, that's really cool that you did this. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you, sir. I'm proud of you. So uh, next, I want to see four systems in one case. <laughs> All the gens of Ryzen have a Ryzen, you know, 1700 or something in there as well. <laughs> so thanks very much, Angry Crab. I can't make fun of that too, too much. That's pretty badass. All right, on to some more here. We'll, we'll see what's going on. So this is um, 
William Kayser, okay, and he says HP Pro 30 500 motherboard i7 3770. Uh, he's got some specs there. He lists his drives for some reason. The case is an HP Compact D220MT. Rig uses a small footprint and it's quiet. So there's his keyboard because that's important. And then there's his oh, what, what's that cell phone? What's with that cell phone? That's what are you doing with to me, buddy? You got some, like, is that your drug cell phone? Um, oh, look at that. So um, if we go down here, he's got some more pictures. It's got some old HP system. Like, good, good on you for trying. He's even got the Sound Blaster like insert for the CD-ROM bay. I mean, if you can afford those Noctua fans, you can afford a better case on Amazon. It, it pretty it looks pretty good. I like your cable management. You've done a decent job here. When it all comes down to it. You're just doing this because you, oh, he's even got a Noctua fan in the side. So there's three Noctua fans in this HP case. You could have got a better case. Like, they're, they're cheap as all hell these days. Rosewell cases and stuff that are at least as good as that one. So, I don't know. Good, good on you for trying. You're one of those guys that's got a chain that hangs from his wallet, though. So... I'm not gonna ask too, too many questions. And what are those ones doing there? Did you just get back from the club? This guy's clearly some sort of drug dealer. Oh, see, he likes GTA 5. Ha ha ha, dealing drugs on his weird cell phone. And he's got a chain that makes sure no one can steal his wallet. So, <laughs> thanks, William Kayser. This is my main rig. And you know what? Don't let me bad mouth it too, too much because you did something and you made it look good and you made it work and that's all we can ask of people these days moving on max mary mary verda mary verda max mary verda so this is my pc and it has some cheap ao that all the fluid has disappeared and i found an oil catch that can and i bought it for a car oh my goodness what is going on here oh jesus okay here we go so <clears throat> So this is my PC and it had some cheap ale and the fluid disappeared and I found oil catch that I had bought for a car at some point and a hose that was almost the same diameter and it didn't leak after many tries. Also the graphics card sags real bad so I zip tied it. It has an i5-3570, a GTX 770 and it had a Q6600 before. So the oil catch. That is one rigged up system, buddy. I like uh, how you set this up. <laughs> He's got the listing for the oil catch. That's pretty sweet. So that's ingenuity, man. Uh, I like that you can no longer close your case because of that hanging out the side of it. It's all just kind of zip tied on there, but uh, you know, whatever works, I guess. Um, you know, he's playing Destiny 2 and League of Legends on it, so it must be half decent for you while you're gaming. Good for you, man. You made it happen. You got her going. Jackson B2B. All in all, this build cost me $190 and it shows there are literally cut corners everywhere. Uh, and it was, I scored an X58 motherboard, overclock six core Xeon, $17. The graphics card was a fat ass that I had to demolish a hard drive cage for it. And the motherboard VRMs still run hot after applying new thermal pads, so I zip tied a 90 mil fan on some hanging cables. Thanks for checking out my garbage. Huge fan. Huge fan of you. Thank you. So we start with a picture of the back. No IO shield. <laughs> what are you thinking? At least he's got blue lights in there. So, yeah, he. Did you use a sledgehammer? You can just drill out the rivets and take that whole assembly out of there, man. And then he's really got a 90 mil fan just zip tied blowing onto the graphics card. That's a pretty cool uh, CP or heat sink though. That's pretty awesome. That's, <laughs> I mean, there are better solutions. I, I swear to God, there's, I'm going to put links in the description to sub $40 cases on Amazon that you can buy from my affiliate link and upgrade your systems to at least be able to close the side panel. You clearly can't close the side panel. I just love, I can just picture you grabbing a hammer and smashing that thing to fit it in there. That's that's pretty awesome. But at least it's got blue lights, so you know it's good. Here, uh, a couple more pictures. It's a cooler master case. Like, this isn't some OEM thing. I'm sure he could have done a work. <laughs> he literally smashed it with a hammer and then just left it in there. <laughs> 
cool system otherwise. You know, six cores Xeon. You got, you know, you could probably order a little bit more RAM uh, for cheap these days too. So, you know, but good, good ingenuity. Get that little fan there. I bet it's not loud at all. <laughs> so, Jackson BTB. That was a pimped out scrap heap and uh, $190 for the performance you're probably getting. That's that's not too, too bad. R9 290X for 70 bucks. Okay, 12 gigs of RAM. This system would, you know, still game fairly well in most titles as long as you gave it a little massage in. So good on you, man. You made it work even if it cost you, a, you know, a hammer smashing through the case. You can undrill the rivets. Just drill the rivets out and the whole metal part will come out without any use of a hammer. But nice try. <laughs> uh, th that was pretty good stuff. So thank you so much for sending in your rigs for me to make fun of. I mean, th this is a rough go at a first episode. I'm hoping that this episode will entice more people to send in their badass weird rigs. I mean, it's got to be at least as good as this. Wh what is with the one I put in the main graphic there uh, for Twitter? It's like a bank vault or uh, it's an old arcade machine with like quarter loading sockets and then there's the, what, i want computers like this what why is there a bottle there is that uh, like a bottle of hand soap and why are the what, what is with that computer such a weird computer so i want stuff like that i'm out watch timmy joe instagram and twitter thank you very much follow me on those social medias hit the subscribe button do all the youtube crap hit the bell and send your weird terrible awesome spazzy rig over to me at tjroastmyrig at gmail.com I'm gonna do this more like than once that's for sure send it over to the email and I'll see what I can do to include it in the next show so I'm at watching Joe Instagram Twitter thank you very much for watching thanks to all the patreon members they're coming up on the screen right now and uh, yeah I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more often but thanks very much for watching and uh, I think this was a pretty good show this is a pretty good run I'm gonna go edit the crap out of this and I'll see you guys in another video